good day and shout out to all not just handsome and beautiful but of course committed and dedicated teachers out there welcome back to our youtube channel in this video we will try to explain what is an electronic strategic intervention material or esim traditionally called sim or strategic intervention material and how to make one at your service again po this is jerome abrigana inviting you to watch till the end and don't forget to please subscribe like and share What is an Electronic Strategic Intervention Material or ESEM? An Electronic Strategic Intervention Material or ESEM is the newest remediation material prescribed by the Department of Education to lessen academic underachievement by increasing the learner's performance in the least mastered competencies and skills. We might be wondering how does ESIM differ from the first introduced SIM or SIM. They differ only in their nature and type. We refer ESIMs as strategic intervention materials that make use of computers or other technological devices used by the teachers. Basically, in preparing electronic SIMs, teachers make use of presentation tools or software such as PowerPoint, Canva, Keynote, Google Slides, Sway, Beautiful Al, and many others. Strategic Intervention Material refers to teaching aid introduced into the teaching methods to stimulate the activity of the students and thereby increasing their level of understanding. SIM in Philippine Education is an instructional material meant to reteach concepts or topics which are considered least mastered by the learners. These are materials given to learners to help them master a competency-based skill which they were not able to develop during the regular classroom teaching with, of course, the minimal assistance of a teacher. What are the characteristics of a quality ESAM or simply SIM? Quality strategic intervention material consists of both learning strategies for students and content enhancement routines for the teachers. Multifaceted approach to help learners become independent and successful. Topics in the SIM must be supported with a study. It requires less teacher supervision only. SIM must be easy to reproduce or replicate. So what are the parts of the SIM? Parts of the SIM are also called cards. So there are five parts of our SIM. The guide card. The activity card, assessment card, the enrichment card, and reference card. Some parts not mentioned here, but we can also include in our SIM are title card, table of contents, and the answer card. So what is a guide card? A guide card presents the big picture 
It gives an overview of the lesson, presents the focus skills, it mentions the learning competency, the concrete outcome or product learners are expected to demonstrate. Guide card builds on prior learning or prerequisite skills. Insights briefly the activities. It also challenges the learner in performing the tasks. What is an activity card? Activity card translates the focus skills into at least three activities. At least three activities. It provides activities that are organized based on the sequence of the focus skills in the guide card. Activity card provides activities that have clear directions and provide examples to concretize the concepts, particularly those drawn from real-life experience. Activity card provides activities that students can complete independently in pairs or in small groups. Activities that allow students to make discoveries and formulate ideas on their own. Activities that guides and challenges students' thinking and learning. Activities that uses local data and situations. Example, interacting with people in a community. So here we can apply the principles of localization, contextualization, and indigenization. Activity card must provide transition statements that recognize students' accomplishments, such as simple good job or very good once they have completed a task. Activity card provides questions that guide the development of concepts or focus skill. Questions that elicit the message or meaning that a student can take away from an activity or experience. Activity card elicit an explanation, not one word answer. Questions that establish the relationship between the topic or lesson and what students already know or are familiar to them. Questions that develop the skills in the three domains, the cognitive, psychomotor, and affective domains. What is an assessment card? Assessment card helps the learner measure his or her level of mastery of the skill upon completion of the task. It provides exercises, drills, or activities that allow students monitor their learning and use feedback about their progress. Here in the assessment card, teachers are encouraged to formulate standard test formats to give students practice in test-taking techniques. The results of the assessment identifies the knowledge or skills that the learner may need to enhance or develop further. What is an enrichment card? Enrichment card extends learning by providing additional exercises for further application of knowledge or skill. It may also contain additional information to extend knowledge. And last but not the least, the reference card. Reference card provides additional content to the coverage in the textbook. It may also list resources that the learner may refer to for the reading. And I will be sharing you a sample electronic strategic intervention material or ESAM 
developed by my ex-girlfriend who is now my sister wife. A shout out na lang din po to all school EPP coordinators and EPP teachers, TLA teachers in our team assigned to develop EPP and TLA learning resources. Okay, let's continue watching.